Hello everyone, this is Tundaris and welcome back to Tundaris Gaming. We are starting a whole brand new adventure and my phone is making all sorts of wonderful noises at the same time. Um, with a game called Before We Leave by the fabulous Team 17 developers. Now, for those of you who've heard of Team 17, you know exactly what I'm talking about. For those of you who haven't, if I say to you, worms, then you know who I'm talking about. Absolutely brilliant. So, this is, um, this is an exciting, interesting game. Now, it looks a wee bit like... Um, Looks a wee bit like Civ in the way that you've got this uh, kind of hexagon style cell form, but at the same time, it's a bit of a kind of building, city building, world building game, come survival. Um, and if you've ever had a go at Universe Sim, then it is very much like that. So, we have um, had a go at the tutorial, so I'm now going to join you all for a Brand new game in a brand new world. Number of planets. Yeah, well, we've got five, oh, six, five, six, five, six, six. Difficulty settings, difficulty presets. Default will do. I don't want it too easy. Um, I change. I always do this. I always change the last number. Right. Let's start. In bygone times, humanity descended into bunkers to escape a galactic disaster. Only a century later, when the cause of the calamity was forgotten, did humanity emerge. Having lost all but remnants of the past history and knowledge, they begin once again on a planet born anew. Well, oh, this should be fun. Click to start. Right, here we are, folks. This is our starting island, and this is our bunker shedding people into the new world and we've got a few things here we need to kind of look at um, I love the UI on this but I find the research menu a tad small I'm partially sighted so it doesn't always help on these sorts of things when uh, when oh cow um, when people don't really when developers don't really think about that on the, the interesting side what is that stasis box Lovely, but I'm more interested in this. Can I get up and close to the cow? I'm getting really distracted by this cow. Kind of blocky, but lovely. There we go. Let's let's stop looking at cow. Right. So this is our world. Or at least this is our starting world. Yeah, I know that. I know how to move around. That's our shipwreck, so that we can get off this island and discover new islands in order to get better resources. Um, there's another status box. Okay, and there. Are there any more hiding on this island that I can see? Not that I can see, but it doesn't mean there isn't. Not for my cows, right. Anyway, we really they're kinda of wandering around getting lost here, so I really need to get some get some things in. The first thing we need to do really um Yeah, this isn't helping, right? I need to destroy some things, and I know that's not good. Plus, it's fine on my count. You guys do that. And I'll put you there. Right. Page one that does that, right? We want some houses and we want a well. So we're gonna go and put the well there. Right. Also need to make sure that I can get to the translocator. And yeah, that. Okay. I think what I might want to do is put my potatoes 
there and there, and there for the time being. And we also need all of this, but let's get us let's get this a bit more focused first because otherwise we won't get enough people to do everything. First wood made. I suppose that's one way of doing it. First potato made. Yay! Oh, that's good. Right. I'm gonna get rid of all these. should keep everybody going for the time being. Look at them all run. Now, let me go through a few things on the screen. Right, so we've got our usual kind of in-game um, mechanics. We have our speed controls up here and pause. This is just the ongoing notification log that sits here. Then we've got all of our different developments. So we've got overlays, which gives us all of our different overlays for here. And then we've got road building, demolishing, main menu, and then we've got our building icons down here. So we've got housing, food, um, resources, and then miscellaneous. And then up here, we've got our new research variable. We've got the number of peeps and the available housing. This is our main important resources, which is stone tools and wood. This is our island number. And then we have got all the information about all the stuff. So information on our peeps. And then we've got drop down boxes, which shows what food and how much we've collected of it. We don't have any of these yet. Um, our general resources, production resources. So we have tree trunks. Not really sure what I need those for yet. Um, 8 wood, 3 stone, 16 tool, and we need to be building tools soon. Um, and then we've got green research, we've also got a couple of other different types, and then we've got the fertilities on this island, and it tells us what we can and can't grow. In this case, this island, unknown fertility, we can definitely grow potatoes. Pleasant temperature, clear weather, normal wind. The high ground here contains caches of underground iron if you can get to it. And also stone mines as well if you want to get up there. We have to do some research for this. So let's take a look at the research. Now you'll see what I mean about this. Um, this is tiny and from my eyesight I can only just read it. So we are going to do warehouse first. Um, mostly because you need to store a lot of resources in this game. <clears throat> and you can't do that if you don't have a warehouse because you're only limited to the number of resources. research done and what else do we want um, let's get the elevator and then we can start getting stone in at the moment the only way I can get stone is to uh, all those one of these deposits which isn't great so we want a warehouse no, I do. Yeah, let me 
me turn you around. Let's pull this, this and that, that should help. And then I can look at road wise where I want to go. So I think what I need to do Elevators complete. Let's do some more research while we've got the chance. Let's do repair and yeah, okay. Uh, let's put the elevator. No, I need to put a road in first. Yeah, there we go. Right. We want elevator. Yeah. And then I want how do I move? There we go, right. Eighteen over eighteen. That's fine. New research variable, yes. I know, I know. What should we research? Mining. And then I really want to do gardening. Alright. Great resources aren't available. I know, we're working on it. Don't really have a lot of wood. We really could do more wood. Yeah, I know. Right, let's build... And let's destroy you, 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 and then you and you. Will you repair you? Yes, I can. Right. You're going to start doing you, and we'll see if we can pick up some power. And your mountain remnants of ancients. Can we mine for stone? Sorry. Okay, right, now we can mine for stone. Uh, not you, no, you. You! Right. We'll do you. No, I can place that mine. Stop talking rubbish at me. I can clear those. Right. Now, there's a lot going on in this game. There is so much detail. Um, let's see. What should we bring? What should we do for us? We'll slowly move. Yeah, I know that. Right. Well, you can see this and plus it tells you what the fertility is um, and we will be working on kind of doing a lot of these up in order to get what we need and I want to put another forester in here don't I there we go right what's wrong with you oh no resources selected that's not particularly helpful right you do you lot pause this a second and just show you pause so if you click on a person you can see where they're going to and from and also what house is their base and also what they're doing at this current time which Valerie is fetching tree trunks and also says all this you can also see their happiness graph here which is their mood and you can see nice wilderness nice wilderness total so our happiness has kind of gone up gloom Oh, because it's getting dark, yes. Um, so you can kind of see she's at the top end of the happiness, which is great. That's exactly what we want to do. Now, this, obviously, it shows you what it is and isn't using the maximum number of people in here. And you can just generally see a lot of information in each of these. Um, if you click on a house, it tells you what other houses are there. And also where some of the people are that are actually based in that house. So that's not bad really, there's a lot of information and a lot going on. Now if I go to here, so here's our island one, can I rename this? Let's name it 
What should we name it? Um. Ooh, let's name it. Let's give, I like giving things Persia names. What should we name it? Something in Persia. What should we name it in Persia? Um. Bridge of Iran. There we go. Bridge of Iran. Planet. Well, planet name is going to be Tundra. After my name. Why not? Right. Anyway, so we have the resources information in here. You can see exactly what it is. Available, allocated and total. And then you've got your supply and demand graph here. If you want to see it, you can make it bigger. I um, absolutely love the detail in this game. It's, it's pretty cool. Peeps, here they all are. This is what they're doing. This is their happiness graph. And this also gives you an idea of kind of what they're currently up to. This is where they're based. Name. All their stats. It's really quite interesting. Obviously, you can go and see where they are and their homes. And then you can look at the buildings list. This tells you how many peeps per or what building. Fields and wells. And who's working. How many people are currently working in them. Um, and then same with your resource extraction, miscellaneous, transport, storage, power, and other. Right. So, let us continue on the game. Not bad so far. We haven't really had too many issues. We haven't really run out of that much when it comes to... Uh, Resources, although I do need to start building tools soon. Right, now I have a mine. What is that? Robert is watching you right now. Robert is fetching tools. Where from? Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. It's a bit weird. I didn't know about that, but okay. What's this? First stone made. What's wrong with you? Oh, you're still waiting on resources, that's fine. The good news is we are getting there. Let's do gardening. I could do some other food types, uh, which is what I've got all the, some of the space for. I also got 18 out of 18 peeps. Not enough people for posts, right? I knew that was going to be the case coming up, so have been paying attention for that. Um, so put the road that way. There we go, right. Three more houses should give us plenty of people for the short term, at least. Or at least I hope so. Yeah, I don't know where there's musical notes coming from there. What are you doing? What are you doing that you're playing music? Upgrade houses, right? Hmm. What does that mean? What does upgrading a house do exactly? Hmm. 24, 25 out of 30. So I've got enough people roaming around. I hope. While doing that, there we go. That will now start transmorphifying wood into tools. I hope. Why are they cutting back and forth across there? I'm not using the roads. down or going up right now? Any clues? Oh, right, I think I understand what I've done now. They don't have a clear path through here. Can I... Oh. Right. 
path. There we go. I think that will solve the problem. Oh, what, too many people? Right. Um, solve that problem. <coughs> Joking. Always helpful. Aha! Now we have vegetables. And tea. There we go. And that's just given us some tools as well, which is great. It is just what we need right now. What's this? Wood and tools. What I also want to do is... First tea made, way! I have tea. First vegetable made as well, right. They're getting a bit... The more vegetables and different types of food and stuff that we have, the happier they tend to be, which is just what we want. also want a school because I think we need a school to um, add people if that makes sense. Metalworks complete. So we now have iron smelter and toolsmith, which is perfect. It means I also now have iron ore. There we go. Here comes everybody with some stiff that stone. To, need to build another house somewhere. Ah, oh, I wonder if right there, clear that, and then build a house there, and a house there. Right, there we go. That should give us a bit of extra people. Currently, I've got more people than I've got houses. It's not a good sign. There we go. Get some more tools. Right, so you are producing iron ore. Right, okay.
that's not bad. This is doing what it's supposed to do. They're getting there. They're getting there. Build a warehouse. Well, why are you complaining that I don't have enough people again? <sighs> never happy, huh? Never, never happy. Our food. What's that? Tea, vegetables, water, and potatoes. Mm, yeah, it's not a lot, is it? First tools made. Right, tools are going up. to get this boat built, don't we? Yes, we do. Prepare you. Right. They're gathering all the bits they need. Here comes the wood. And power and tools. There we go. using the power. love the graphics actually on this it's really it doesn't look detailed until you zoom in and then you can see the actual detail on it it's quite cool well we have enough people now so we've got 44 out of 44 that's good we can stop moaning at me that we don't have enough people does this mean water's gone up food's kind of gone up tea's gonna sit in there the boat doing? Almost. We're just gathering stock now. Wood, tools, stone, food and water and that's for colonising when we go and find another island. And we leave Bridge of Earn and we travel into the greater depths of Perthshire. Look 
bit more running around. Should we speed them up? Yes, let's speed them up. There we go. Right, so we've got all the stone we need. All the tools we need. All the water. All the food. There we go. Right, oh, 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 let's slow this down. Colony Ship Zephyrus. Yep, thank you, Colony Ship Zephyrus. I think what we might do, let's just turn this around so we can see that the sun's now up. Love that. Um, sun's now up, and I think what we might do is go and colonise an island on our next adventurous episode. So... I hope you guys are enjoying this. Remember to hit that like button and remember to like and subscribe for more information, more fun videos and more time with me in our happy little land of Bridge of Urn in Perthshire on the planet Tundra. I hope you guys had a loving this new look at this game. It's a lovely little game, definitely worth having a go and I will see you all soon. Ta-ta for now.